the bottom line, the universe is lining everything up for me. When to stay home, when to show up, the signs are there. I just have to pay attention and I can't let myself get lazy about this challenge. Yeah, day 57 of the 100 day reality challenge. That is now <clears throat> my Facebook status and I got it from a co-creator in one of her blog posts and I don't remember which one but it was her like season five or four day 23 I think her name is Robin so co-creator Robin good for you you drew this really amazing picture too and that is what I'm so grateful for is these amazing little snippets of other people's journey that I get to share to just validate that I am so on the right path. Oh my God, it just feels so good. And it gets keeps getting better and better. And I keep doing things that are like, what the hell am I doing? And then I do them, I go, oh, I did this so I understand how to handle it the next time. Or if I even want to handle the next time so I will not even let it into my life. And it's really about pushing out things do not, that do not need to be in this zone. And if things do come in, you let them come in and they just go right past you. Go right through you. And if it gets caught up in a moment, you just like work it out and then you go swimming or you read a book or you look on a website called co-creating your reality or you do a little dance or you just sleep or you you eat a cookie you know you don't eat 10 cookies you eat one cookie I had a craving last night for chocolate cake because I was having a little like whoa emotional ride and I'm so glad that I went and got myself a big fat chocolate brownie it's still in the refrigerator now, if this was like four years ago, I probably would have bought a big cake, but I just didn't want the whole cake. I wanted just a little piece of chocolate brownie and a salad because I was hungry and I wanted to nourish this body to make it feel good. But I also do not want to deny this body anything because this body is a part of me and this journey and I want to take care of it. And I want to take care of it by having a man pal lover. An MPL. <laughs> man pal lover. And I am going to get my man pal lover very soon. I have no doubt. And I don't know who he is. I may already know him. I may not know him. But he is on his way because I am ready to receive. I am ready to receive all of the gifts and opportunities that this world and universe have to offer me. And I see the potential in everything, and I'm so grateful that I am releasing more of what I do not want every day and receiving what I am asking for and feeling okay about the asking and feeling okay about the receiving. Whew! Season one is a big hit. <laughs> Um, and I will, I don't want to overextend this because how much, how much love and gratitude can you really share? The infinite power of love and gratitude. There is a book called that. Um, but just the mere fact that I've been working on this idea of magic, passion, love for a really long time, a really, you know, seven years and well, 2003, whatever. Um, and to keep growing and to keep introducing this to more and more people, First it was my circle of friends, and then it was my work people, and then it was more people, and everybody, it's like, I just, it's, it feels good to share it, and, and it, I know it feels good to, it just feels good. So I really do appreciate, appreciate um, the support, and um, this is definitely a very huge part of my creative process, and I will always be grateful. Because it's all about following your dream. It really is. And your dreams can change. And your dreams don't have to be super fucking huge ones either. A dream could be, you know, 
accomplishing, you know, this 100 day reality challenge. A dream can be getting, you know, that CD or, you know, going to that movie that you've always wanted to see because you just really love that certain director. You know, dreams are what life is made of. And there's daydreams and there's sleeping dreams. And I had a really weird dream last night. I dreamt I was having sex with Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> And it made me oversleep until 9.30 this morning, but I still woke up and had a really good day because I, um, I'm i creating my own life and it's, you know, it's my life and I am, in, I am in control and yet I have the law of attachment so in play right now. Another amazing book, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra. I used to make fun of the guy now it's one of my Bibles. You know, change happens and embrace it and be okay with it and feel it. So here's to day 57 and I will be watching you and cheering you on. Okay, bye!